Hi everyone, Dave here from Trust Studios and today I wanted to revisit these baby red cabbage greens, uh, hydroponic baby red cabbage greens and also the micro cabbage greens um, because what I did was take some of these micro greens and put them in here over four months ago. So these have been in here over a hundred hundred and something days, four months. Um, and normally, of course, a cabbage plant would grow a cabbage. But because I've been harvesting the baby leaves about every 10 days, 10 to 14 days, um, they never made um, heads. So you can continue, continue to harvest baby greens probably for, I don't know how long. We've got four months already. So I'm thinking that you might be able to you know get six months or a year of continuous um, baby green harvests and that's great for growing inside where you might not be able to grow uh, full heads of cabbage but you still want to have some nice purple baby green cabbage leaves for your coleslaw and salads and stuff so and this planter has worked out really well which is just a, a, a lower and upper container I've showed you guys this upper container just has the clay, uh, about an inch of clay pebbles in it and the bottom container has the nutrient solution maxi grow one teaspoon per gallon is all I'm using in here um, but I'm gonna do a harvest from this today but I also wanted to try to grow these let me give you guys a closer look so you can see they're ready for a harvest and when you harvest these because I might not do it on video today. I do have other videos where I harvest. But you just don't cut the top part where your cabbage would head. You take off all the lower leaves and leave a couple leave, leave a couple leaves for it to photosynthesize. But you don't t never take the top center part because then it would kill the plant, I think. I don't know. But anyway, I always leave that growing and I harvest the lower leaves. That's why they're getting tall and leggy and lanky. But they're still doing good after four months so I'm gonna put these aside for now because what I'm gonna do is I like growing that way but I thought the grow pipe might give me even more um, you know give the plants a little bit more space and give it a, a, a nicer look and a nicer way to grow so just like I did for that planter I just pulled out some microgreens out of my microgreens planters which you guys who follow the channel so you guys can see that is one long root so I'm just gonna I got little grommets on this uh, on this grow pipe with tiny little holes they're only about an eighth inch but anyway I'm gonna try to guide this root down there until it's until it's all the way in and I've got I've got many videos on the grow pipes guys um, this is was my own creation or at least this version was my idea to have the tiny tiny holes and it's been working great for me rather than net cups because you can't really put a net cup into a round pipe and have it fit well and I found that the plants don't need um, that much so you can fit a lot more plants in so I will go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and plant this maybe I'll speed it up Okay, so we got it all planted up, and the rest of these I'll be eating on my sandwich. Although, I usually save a, a one or two I leave in here just to make sure that everyone is okay in here in case I lose one. Uh, but generally, if you make sure your roots get into the pipe really well, uh, you shouldn't lose anybody. But just in case, you can always keep a couple alive in the microgreens container or on clay pebbles, however you guys start yours. Um, I like to use this method. It's just a piece of screen over a Tupperware container and I use the microgreens that way. Um, I call it the micro the micro magic. Of course, um, they, like I said, they usually don't get the algae, but I grew them a little longer for this. But you could always wrap your, your container with foil or do what I did here with the napkin. Um, 
Also, you don't have to worry about any algae in the grow pipe. I've never had algae in the grow pipe because it's white on the outside and it's black on the inside. And because we're not using net cups, we don't have any way for light to infiltrate. Um, there's only a one-eighth, about an eighth inch hole in these grommets, these rubber grommets that I put in the grow pipe. And uh, the stem will soon fill those up completely. As you can see, the stems on these babies are well over a quarter of an inch. But it's okay, they'll, they'll push these rubber grommets open and there's, there's a half inch hole all together. So they'll be fine. And uh, yeah, let me, let me take you guys in for a close look. Okay, so here we have it all planted up with the microgreens. And so you'll notice the color is a little different from the baby greens. They start to really get more greenish purple as they get into the baby green stage. Um, I love cabbage and I love purple cabbage so I'm really happy that I found this way to grow them inside. As microgreens they're wonderful but you get more of that purple pigment once they get a little bit bigger as you see in the in the leaves here. So yeah and so you can harvest this about every 10 to 14 days. You can take some of those baby um, baby greens leaves off of here and uh, it'll just keep growing. Like I said, it's been over four months. So a nice way to get um, baby greens or baby cabbage greens. I haven't tried this with uh, any other greens yet, but I really like this method uh, of growing them in here. I just thought that the grow pipe would give them a little bit more space as they're kind of crowded in here. Although it doesn't look like there's going to be a whole lot more space in here. Um, but I'll, I'll probably have, yeah, I guess I'll have pretty tight in here too. But I think it'll be a little bit better arranged. I just put this uh, grow pipe on my little bookcase shelf here that I built that has LED shop light up here. And um, on the upper shelf I have my microgreens, which is arugula right here and broccoli right here and I should get another one going because it's about time um, but yeah so that's where they'll grow right there inside the house in the, in the living room on this little bookcase and they should do well thanks everybody for watching I hope you're all doing well remember take care of yourself take care of each other and I will see you next time bye bye